You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, this is definitely the week where sports and politics have been going hand in hand. Actually, definitely the last couple of weeks, Steve Kerr making very, very dumb uh, comments on um, on gun violence. Also, you have the uh, Jack Del Rio thing. Of course, he's been fined $100,000 for expressing an opinion, asking a question. But of course, you know that not, that is not politically correct. So Jack Del Rio got fined. Well, guys, we have somebody else now in the NBA world, former Orlando Magic coach Stan Van Gundy. He has come out and he's made a comment to me that's very, very insensitive to our economic climate right now. And of course, he will not be fine whatsoever. And folks, it's more than just one comment here, because actually when I was actually researching this, I found another comment that is extremely disturbing from uh, Stan Van Gunny. Both of these here on Twitter. But uh, check this out. Over here on OutKick. Waltster Stan Van Gundy calls January 6th worse than inflation. Ladies and gentlemen, is he serious? He's absolutely serious because he is a left wing nut job. January 6th worse than inflation. January 6th. That ride lasted about a whole two hours. That's it. Inflation. It's going to be around here for a while. Gas prices is going to be like that for a while. But left wing crazy person Stan Van Gundy wants you to focus more on January 6th than inflation, high gas prices. And this is what all these leftists are doing right here. This is the idiotic tweet that he put out. He says, I can't believe this would be a controversial statement, but it will be. Inflation is not as big a problem as a U.S. president trying to overthrow the results of an election and inciting an attack on the U.S. Capitol. So he's going full TDS, Trump deranger syndrome, saying that Trump was trying to overthrow an election and incited a riot. This is a lie, folks. And this is what these leftists are doing out here. Stan Van Gundy, who works for TNT, will not be fine for this comment because of course, he has the the right politics when it comes to this thing. This is crazy. Everybody is suffering with inflation right now and will be for a very, very long time. And folks, we will have a recession. Um, probably now you can actually technically say we're in a recession now, but definitely by 2023. People will be suffering. Everybody will be suffering. For a very long time because of Biden and his socialist politics. January 6th lasted a whole two hours. And folks, I'm going to be honest. I'm suffering from inflation. I'm suffering from high gas prices. You are too. Did many people actually suffer from January 6th for the most part? No. Nobody died as a direct result of January 6th. Now, we already talked about Ashley Babbitt. She was actually shot by the Capitol Police. But these leftists out there out here want you to think that January 6th is like Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941. They want you to think it's on the same level as 9-11 because they want to protect Joe Biden. But there's another tweet here also, folks, that um, is very, very disturbing coming from Stan Van Gundy. Look at this right here. Stan Van Gundy, Stan Van Gundy is a disgusting human being. Look at this. He tweets out and they will uh, charge parents who bring their kids to a drag show. These are the, quote, parental rights people, hypocrites. Florida has plans to ban kid-friendly drag shows. I'm going to repeat that again. Kid-friendly drag shows. Drag shows are not kid-friendly. And Stan Van Gundy wants your children 
to be exposed to drag shows. Now, on the network channel, we've actually covered some of these pride events and there's some disgusting stuff going on over there. This is to say this man is sick. Stan Man Gundy is very, very sick, guys. But like I said, he and other people on the left want to distract you from the real problems that are going on right now in this country. Because Joe Biden has failed. And these people want to shield for Joe Biden. I can't believe he said this, guys. This is really, really disturbing that these people on the left and Stan Van Gundy's a millionaire. So inflation is not going to hit him that hard whatsoever. But you, me, 99% of America, guess what? We're suffering. We are suffering from inflation. But Stan Van Gundy, hey, he's perfectly okay. This man is despicable. This is why people do not pay attention to the NBA. This is why another reason why the NBA finals are in the trash. Because it's just become way too political. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.